being the one that helped people with their problems, but never getting help with my problems. Hey y'all, it's Supply Natural here and I am back with another video. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family because you will like it here. Okay guys, I'm not even gonna lie, this video was completely impromptu. Like I just decided to pick up the camera and record because I have a lot of thoughts on my mind. So if you guys haven't seen my previous video where I talked about changing my life in six months, you guys should definitely go back and check that out because y'all missing up. Y'all missing out on what's going on. Y'all not caught up yet. But yeah, I talked about the seven items in my life in which I feel like I need to change to completely improve my overall life in six months. And the one of those things being my personal relationships. Now, I feel like I need to fix the personal relationships within my life because I have this, I'm not sure if it's a trauma response or whatever it is, but whenever I'm going through something, I go through it alone. Just try to take it on by myself. And so these past couple of years, I've been going through so much stuff. So much so to the point where I've completely went into my shell and I haven't talked to a lot of my good friends and it felt like I ghosted everybody but I just was really taking some time to get myself together and now that I feel that I'm getting myself together and that I'm at a place to where I'm able to reach out and talk to people it's really hard because a lot of people don't want to talk to me or I'm not gonna say they don't want to talk to me but it's just like now they're looking at me sideways because it's like girl you just completely disappeared on us and now you want to be friends and walk around like everything cool and it's just like yeah that's kind of where I am I'm trying to mend um friendships and bonds with people that I feel like I completely severed due to the fact of how I chose to deal with everything that I was going through now shutting down and not talking to anybody and just evaporating from the face of the earth is not a good way to handle things at all but that is all i know when i deal with stuff and i'm really stressed out to the point of no return i won't answer phone calls i won't answer text messages and if i do it'd be in these little manic episodes where i'm feeling good for a moment and i agree to do something or whatever and then i'll just completely flake because by the time the event or whatever I agreed to in that moment comes to pass, I'm just like, I'm not feeling that anymore. I'm still pretty much sad. So that has caused a lot of problems with some of my friendships. And I think it's time for me to mend that. Um, I took one step and I talked to a really good friend of mine um, the other day. Um, he was a good friend of mine from college. It was like one of my older videos where I went to Columbus when I was a flight attendant and I went to actually visit him and our other friend. And it was just like, those two were so close to me. I loved them so much, those were my dogs. But it was just like, for me, I felt, when we were going through stuff in college, I felt like they were friends, I felt like they were family and I felt so close to them. And I was there for them and they were there for me and we looked out for each other and we were each other's support system. But transfer, but leaving college behind and actually becoming a full blown adult and dealing with more adultier problems than the adult problems we were dealing with in college hit different. And it hit to the point where I just low key felt stressed and embarrassed and I just did not want to talk to anybody. But I did make the first step and I called him and I kind of explained everything to him and I talked to him and I told him that I'm not going to continue this this pattern because I feel like I was definitely pushing out all of my friends and I explained that to him and I was like you are important to me and other people are important to me and I just have to act like it and I have to not be embarrassed to open up to people that mean a lot to me about things that are going on in my life. Now, me being afraid to open up to people stems from me opening up to people and them letting me down. I don't think that that is gonna be a response to things that I'm gonna get over easily because it's been plenty of times where I've opened up to a friend and it just did not go well. So my first response to when problems and trauma and stuff 
happening in my life, I'm going to try to deal with it first and then I will reach out to my sister or my mom. But that is about as far as I would go. But now it's just like I realized that I really put myself through a lot more than I had to because I didn't utilize the fact that I had a great support system around me. I didn't utilize it out of fear. I didn't utilize it out of embarrassment. And so I definitely realized that and I've realized that without that community of people there to support me and love me and talk to me and have my back and encourage me, that has really led me to just being completely lost i feel so alone and i'm not alone i have great people that love me and i am really really sad that i let some of those friendships kind of dwindle because i was dealing with my own stuff i meet you with help understanding advice and then when i need you know when i'm in need i met with judgment and brushed off or you know somebody just throwing all my business in my face so that's Part of the reason why I just don't open up to people. And I realize you can't do that. You can't do that, especially with the people that you love and the people that love you. They're going to be there. They're going to support you. They're going to love you. So open up your mouth. Let them know what's going on and stop being afraid to use your community. But I'm here to repair them. So I have a list of people, of friends. Yeah, I have friends. I have a list, you know. So I have a list of friends that, that I'm going to talk to and I'm going to reach out to. Now, the crazy thing is, it's all in my Most of it is more so in my head because when I called my one friend, he was really just understanding and really just like, yeah, I get it. I understand. Everybody goes through stuff. You know, I'm here. You didn't have to do that. Like, pretty much made me feel like a big goofy for just running away when I actually had that community there. But like now i was like i get it i get it i'm sorry that that's just how i handle things but shoot that is that's all i know so i'm going to definitely reach out to my friends and you know explain things to them and talk to them and catch them up with everything that's going on in my life and mend those relationships and get my people back because i love y'all because i definitely feel my missing community now especially with me being in a whole nother state i don't have any friends i don't have any family it's just me in my family, me and my children, you know, it's hard. So I definitely miss my friends. I miss my community and I want to build it back. So yeah, guys, let me know if you guys have dealt with something similar to this or, or if what I'm saying is something that's resonating with you. Because I only have one other friend that handles stuff like this. So we're like here, we like, I'm still here, but I'm just not here right now type thing. And I'm, I'm saying this for everybody that needs to hear it. If you're going through something like me and this form of self isolation and handling everything on your own, if this is what you do to cope, please don't. Please try to find at least one person, at least one person that you can really trust and be vulnerable with and open up to them because it will really make a world of difference. Because honestly, if I would have been more open with my friends, I probably wouldn't have been so far into my situation. And a lot of things I could have got more help with and more clarity had I had those outside people helping me. So that is one thing that I really regret. So don't be like me. Open your mouth. And I know it's hard, but we got to do this. So, yeah. So that's all I have for today's video, you guys. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already yet subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.